okay this is the box that's going to be coming in uh, as I said it's a very nice box it has the nice flap on it magnetic so it's even a great box it's uh, real solid too um, but there's their name CSHID world I'm not sure how to pronounce that once again um, but you can see just how burly looking this baby is um, that right there is your power button charging port I'll go over more of that this is the uh, 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 aircraft aluminum um, nothing much else there with the box inside that you'll get a little box and it will have your charging port chargers in it as I said you're gonna get a wall out a wall unit and that's the end they use to uh, actually plug into the light and you'll also get a USB A to that end the male they even put little I don't know if you can see them or not there's little ridges on the plug to pull them out which I thought was really cool uh, but yeah that's just gonna go plugged right into here like so this will be closed this is what I saw about they kind of need to fix because this is waterproof now, I mean you don't want to be charging while you have it and get out in the rain or something but see this comes out completely and the only hole you use is this one which is the charging port but this little guy right here will get lost in a matter of seconds so I wish they could put a tether like on the one end maybe or something I mean it stays kind of but you can brush up against it and uh, knock it out but anyways just plug it in like that uh, even the USB lights up um, but that's it that's a, all you gotta do to charge it shut that again remember it is waterproof so you want that gasket shut uh, you got the name right there on it uh, this is the battery compartment right here and you can get to the batteries so that's always good because you can replace them very simple they're just right inside their capsule which I showed you earlier in the pictures but very simple to get to um, I don't foresee you having to change batteries anytime soon I've been using mine a ton uh, it is it is one of the brightest flashlights I've ever used uh, 2400 lumens is just crazy I can't believe how bright it is and there's even like a, the low is even really bright and it's condensed into a you know like a uh, more condensed beam it's not as wide range um, but I'll leave that sit for a minute uh, the IP rating was I think 65 if I'm not mistaken Oh, let me confirm it for you yes IP rating was 65 so that's always nice a lot of these I've had are not uh, rated that high or if at all and I also like the handle you can see it has the hand cutouts in the aluminum it's very convenient it's very easy to hold and like I said that's your power button uh, you'll hear it click click once and it's on high I'm trying to show you without blinding you click it again it's on like the lower and off or you can click it on and hold it and it'll go to a strobe but everything about this is just really uh, tough looking it looks like it could really take a beating um, in my opinion I said it's military because it looks military grade the way it's built um, I'll shut the light out here and show you just how bright I'll aim it at the box I mean that's just crazy aim it on the table that's the low I'm not sure why that makes the screen go crazy and low but again you can hold it and put it on strobe one more and it's off but yeah it's great great product very it's not actually that heavy either I was rather surprised at looking at it I thought it was gonna weigh like 80 pounds 
but um it's not it's it's very light and it's it's actually very small I mean it fits in a basically a palm of your hand so as far as storing it it's not a problem um, I think it would be great for like camping stuff like that where you have you know it gets dewy uh, and the grass gets dewy in the morning and um, I just think it would be great with the IP65 waterproof rating um, well one more thing I wanted to check on was the warranty uh, 18 month warranty worry free so there you go and their customer service is second to none I actually talked to them a little bit about the products I, I always like to kind of surprise them and email them and ask a few questions just to see what their reply time is and it was under 24 hours so I was very impressed with their uh, reply time um, there's a good look at all three lights and all three are always on there's no one two or three or anything like that high medium and low it's just that's high and then the low and then the strobe so there's basically three power settings four if you consider off one which a lot of times these guys do um, but yeah it's just a great flashlight it's very very uh, sturdy very built very well um, I would highly recommend it I want to get another one for keeping in the car especially since you can charge with the USB charger in your car so you'd never be without a emergency flashlight and with the strobe light feature another plus the fact that it's IP65 waterproofing another plus um, probably the pr price was the best part uh, at under $40 I mean $39.99 for something built this rugged uh, I'll buy more than one definitely uh, the only thing I wish they'd fix is this, put maybe a little tether on there. Uh, they do it on phones that are waterproof, so I don't see why they couldn't do it on this, but to me that's the only problem. I didn't knock off a star or anything for that. It's a, definitely a five-star product, but thanks guys for watching. Uh, check out the link in the review for the product. I'll take you straight to Amazon. You can pick one up for under $40. I'll also put a link to my website, techgeeks.com. Uh, you can go check out some more reviews there. Uh, lots of stuff to look at. Our social media buttons are there, so please like and follow us. And definitely, if you could, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I made it really easy. In the videos in the bottom right-hand corner is a little YouTube button. You can hover above and go ahead and subscribe. That way you won't miss out on anything. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Comments, leave them. Got something to say? I'm always ready to reply. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.